What is up, everybody? It is your boy Fire. Thank you once again for tuning in to another video, man. Shout out, notification squad. Thanks for tuning in again. Today, we're going to be covering a Lil Muzi style vocal effect. We're going to be looking to get that really upfront treble heavy vocal sound for your sing song, trap soul, modern day vibe, I guess. So, yeah, man, we're going to be focusing on the treble section of the track. I know a lot of people are always hitting me up asking how to get that sound. So, we're going to be using some stock and free VSTs to achieve that main vocal sound. So, definitely stick around. Let's hop onto the computer. Don't forget to subscribe and all that stuff. Let's get it. Also, make sure to check the links in the description to check out my vocal recording course for FL Studio. It goes in depth on how I set up a template in FL Studio. So you will see my template format today. You can also check out the full FLP for this in the description. But yeah, definitely the course is good to have because it can teach you how to set up your own template in FL Studio as well as how to pretty much just record. You know, there's a lot of confusing things that can happen while recording in FL. So definitely check that out. Let's get it. Alrighty, so here we are in the computer. We're going to get to mixing now. So pretty much, man, my main goal these days is not to exactly copy the artist, all right? To me, the perfect world scenario is if you were given an opportunity to rap with another artist, being able to record your vocals and then mix your vocals to actually blend in with the track. To me, that is professional grade, all right? And that is a real world scenario. So that's why for me personally, I enjoy adding my own style to these tracks. So that is just a disclaimer for those who want to learn exactly how to sing like another artist. You can go and do that. There are other videos out there of people doing that and that is cool. But for me, I really want to get nitty gritty with the mix style. So definitely pay attention to how the vocals complement each other and so and so. So we'll take a listen to what we have. My section is over here. Uh, here's a little bit of, of Muzi's part. The track is so fast. And yeah, we'll break down our stock vocal chain and that kind of thing, man. Let's get into it. But you know I'll be back Pull up in the old school, I don't do trends Said you wanna party, yeah, you could bring friends Now she wanna smash me, cause I'm too fresh Money on me, right around in my air, man Racks in my jeans, got the pack for the low Trap money long, I used to sell drugs Can't stay long, yeah, cause I gotta go Can't be late, gotta pull up to the show Alrighty, there you go. So that's pretty much what I would do if I was given a beat like this and how I would match my vocals to Muzi's style. And it definitely makes sense towards the beat that he has because the beat is really busy. Uh, it's kind of like a sampled hi-hat, you know, and that's definitely his style these days. Yeah. You know, if we kind of look for the part where the, the treble comes in. You know, you definitely need some trebly vocals to pop over that sample and pop over those hi-hats. So I'm going to kind of break you down how I achieve that with the stock vocal uh, effects. So yeah, man, obviously auto-tune, as I said at the beginning of the video, you are going to need your own auto-tune. You can use the pitcher. I use auto-tune under his 8th best version in my opinion all right and i'm just using a simple noise gate so yeah sure we're not using exactly stock plugins but those are not necessities okay really where things get necessary are on our main vocal chain so i will turn off the main vocal chain so you can hear as you can hear it works but it's not that movie style it's not that upfront auto tune style so once we enable everything you know what I mean? So that's how we're going to do it. I know a lot of people love boosting treble, getting that airy sound. So we're going to break that down. So first thing I like to do, man, is channel seven right here. And that is going to give us a bit of um, analog kind of natural compression and saturation added to our vocal. Definitely check this out. This is the Air Windows Channel 7 and then use the style that you like. I, I had it set originally on Neve and then I, I kind of ended up liking the API, kind of rounded off the treble a bit more before I boosted it, okay? So definitely try that out. Just boost the, the drive and then turn the output down if the level is too high, all right? Next thing I did, man, was a bit of EQ, okay? So this is my kind of st standard rap EQ that I'm using these days. Nice roll off at 116 and then I'm dipping away a lot of 150. I don't want any of that in there in order to get the sound. I'm dipping away 294 and then I'm rolling off in a low shelf style 193 right there, man. You know, uh, just getting rid of a lot of the bass frequencies. And then I'm just, you know, selectively choosing what I don't want anymore in the mid treble region just to make sure that um, our vocal is not clashing with the sample. Okay, very important. And then I do a nice little light treble boost. Okay, since we've done so much bass reduction, we don't need to boost too much. I'll show you where we're going to boost more over here. So just stay tuned for that. 
after that man what i do is a bit of compression okay compression is essential to getting the sound because you want your vocal to be clamped down all right when we listen to Moody's vocal it's clamped down like any professional rap vocal it doesn't have much going on in terms of up and down dynamics it's nice and steady uh, the voice is consistent throughout okay so that's what your compressor is going to do uh, definitely check out a full video on how to use a compressor i'm slamming it at um the, so the the compressor kicks in at minus 27 pretty much minus 26.6 and then we're doing a really light ratio no need to go crazy with this uh, free compressor it does the job at a nice low ratio 2.2 to 1 and then i just boost it a little bit on the output and i'm getting a really nice fat attack um, i don't want the compressor to kick in automatically like instantly so i'm allowing almost you know uh, 200 milliseconds of you know of the transient of the vocal to kick through okay so then I, I leave the release standard i quite like how that sounds leave it on hard because that gives it that kind of modern day gritty vocal sound okay so that's our compressor next thing what we do man is we're going to want to ds our vocals but i don't want to ds them fully so what i, I do right here is you can set your ds to fir and then uh, you can then actually use it in parallel okay so what i do is i over compress the ds so if i just find the vocals you know yeah, we've been on a road trying to get that My papa being this, not a tic tac So it's just going absolutely crazy As much compression as can happen Using it in parallel if I was to turn it off Yeah, we've been on a road trying to get that My papa being this, not a tic tac Flexing on a made of shit like how you do that Yeah, we've been on a road trying to get that My papa being this, not a tic tac You know what I mean? You can kind of just hear it's a bit more consistent Really not too much going on Now if you wanted more, if you had a already bright vocal and you needed to tame it a bit more You could then just bring this in a bit more Yeah, we've been on a road trying to get that My papa being this, not a tic tac Flexing on a made of shit like how you do that Gotta go baby, but you know I'll be back Pull up in an old school, I don't do trends Since you wanna party, yeah, you could bring friends Now she wanna smash me, cause I'm too fresh Money on me, right around in Miami Racks in my jeans, got the pack for the love Trap money long, I used to sell drugs Can't stay long, yeah, cause I gotta go you know what I mean? Really up to you. I like mine to be quite bright, similar to Muzi's sound, but you get the idea. You can use this in parallel to kind of kill it more. Too much is obviously going to really dim the vocal down, but, uh, you know, just enough is going to get you right. Okay, so again, what we can do is, man, we can mess around with the EQ again, this time in parallel, and then we can really shape the vocal without shaping it fully. So, you know, parallel again, meaning I'm only affecting, uh, let's see how much we're doing. We're only affecting 20% of the original signal, okay? And then we're allowing 80% to come through original so what i'm doing again is just shaping the vocal but this time a bit more aggressively because we are using it in parallel and this allows me to really just dip away things that i don't want things that are getting in the way i already had trouble in this mix dealing with the piano and the vocal because that piano is just so present and the remake unfortunately uh, had the piano a bit louder so that is an issue that you guys need to also understand when doing these remix tracks is that you know you're not going to get the beat exactly the same as the original unless the original was leaked somehow you know so you know take that in consideration dip away a lot in parallel to kind of make space for the piano and then allow that air to really kick through and then again just tame some of the lower mids and that kind of thing simple and sweet so then man you know traditional style man we're going to be using a bit of ping pong delay on the main vocal itself at like two percent three percent i don't want to do a lot uh one percent even just to you know yeah. You can see how small that is it's just adding a bit of movement to the track and then on top of that because we're doing so much treble boost i want to add a bit of flangers to make the vocal kind of smooth and out like tape effect so yeah man um after that what i did was i actually added this pretty late into the mix which was the deck wrecker vst so for those who watched my um top five vst similar to waves plugins um this basically does a bass boost and the reason i'm doing that is just to naturally level out the treble and bass of the vocal again okay post all the processing we've done and this is just going to add a bit more of a natural sound to the vocal just add a bit more of that weight into the vocal without overdoing it to make it sound bassy again like the vocal we started off with okay you can do a little bit of that it's similar to a pull textile boost which is a trick that people tend to do so yeah man that's pretty much all we do on the main vocal um you know delay sends and that kind of thing i do have quite a bit of the not much you know reverb and, and delay not that much in this track so i'm not going to focus on that but we are going to focus on these backgrounds okay because we are pulling all of our backgrounds in again so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to solo out uh the, the sing and for those who tune in every week this is pretty much my standard effect that i use on all ad libs sing ad libs and that kind of thing the beauty of this uh little effects chain we have is that you can just adjust the reverb and literally get a whole new sound so if i turn off the reverb uh, uh, 
you know, then we get that extra ambience added. What we could do is we could remove the, the telephone effect. Oh. And then we're getting a whole new sound, you know what I mean? So that's what's beautiful about this effects chain, is that it just has all sorts of different uh, variations that you can apply. I decided to turn off the panomatic and just go for a treble boost just to make it pop out. Simple and sweet. And then on our two backings, um, what we do is we just have our two backing vocals, okay? So if we solo those. And, the, and those two vocals are really just used to emphasize certain parts. And as you can see on the second part of the hook, or the last part of the hook. And all we do then is a bit of free multiband. I just copy pasted it from here, but this time used it a bit less aggressively on the, um, on the threshold. So yeah, man, that's pretty much all I could show you in this vocal pack, man. Definitely master track. We're just doing some EQ and some fully limited, nothing too crazy. I didn't want to affect it too much because obviously we have the original track uh, on there. So yeah, man, hopefully you enjoyed this video, man. Hopefully you learned something. Feel free to check the link in the description. Make sure to smash like and subscribe for all the latest and greatest content. I'm waiting on some new speakers, so I'm not going to be doing too much content because I really want to get those speakers before I start uh, really going in on this month's content, February's content. So stick around. I'll check you out. Peace out. <music>